Hey guys, my name is Katie Twyman and I'm co-executive director of Uplift. I'll be stepping in for Kat Lasso for this week's episode of Engage by Uplift, a series aimed at real talk for real change when it comes to sexual assault. Over the past couple of months, we've talked about a lot of online resources, but we haven't gone into much detail about one of the most important tools that the internet has, online communities. A couple of disclaimers before we jump in. I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that this video does include mentions of self-harm and suicidality, other mental health issues, and I also wanted to say up front that I am not a survivor of sexual assault. For that reason, it's not my place to speak for survivors. Instead, I want to tell you guys about how online communities got me through some of the hardest years of my life and saw me through to the other side. Online communities have been a part of my life for a long, long time. I made my first online friend when I was 13, back in 2005. At the time, I liked to consider myself sort of an artist, and I spent hours making what, in retrospect, were these truly terrible drawings on these bulletin board style websites. These sites and the people I met on them gave me a place to share a part of myself that I didn't feel really fit anywhere else. What struck me even back then was how quickly I felt comfortable with some of my online friends. The more time I spent talking to them, the more time I wanted to spend talking with them. And we grew really close, really fast. Now, mental illness has been a part of my life for a long time too. In fact, I started seeing my first therapist right around the time I made my first online friend. This therapist was only the first of more than 20 mental health professionals that I would see in the next decade, and I didn't know it then, but I was only at the foot of the mountain of mental health issues that I was going to face. The end of middle school and the beginning of high school was a wash of panic attacks, crippling depression, and late nights spent battling overwhelming urges to hurt myself. The fall of my sophomore year in high school, I was going to therapy three days a week, but the cuts in my arms were only getting deeper. The meds and the therapy weren't doing enough, and I landed in the psych ward. After a little over a month of inpatient and outpatient therapy, things began to click back into place, but the transition back to the real world was a rocky one. I didn't know how to explain to people why I had just disappeared from classrooms in pretty much every aspect of my life for an entire month. So instead, I found myself spending more and more time online. At the time, I was doing a lot of writing, and I ended up on these Harry Potter fan fiction sites to share the stuff that I'd been working on. Almost out of nowhere, I found myself talking more and more with the other people on the site, first to share ideas for future stories, but then just to chat or joke around or to unload things that were really stressing us out at the time. The Harry Potter fandom led me to YouTube, and both of these communities led me to some of the closest friends that I've ever had. I made these friends back in 2008 and 2009, and since then I've lost one of my best friends to cancer, and I've made a second trip through the psych ward. But these communities I found, these new friends of mine, saw me through the darkest points in my life and to higher ground. This week, our call to action is going to be a little bit different. We want you guys to share stories about how you found support in online communities. Let's take a second to celebrate all that these beautiful online spaces have done for us and the people that they've put in our lives. Of course, please only share what you feel comfortable sharing and be sensitive when sharing details about other people's personal lives. You can share your stories online with the hashtag EngageUplift or in the comments below. And this week, we're especially interested to see some video responses from you guys. When you're dealing with something that's traumatic, whether it's a sexual assault, the loss of a loved one, or serious mental illness like it was in my case, the internet can give you an opportunity to take things at your own pace. I opened up and asked for help when I felt that I was ready, and in the meantime, my, these online communities gave me a place I could go to take a break from the pain that I was dealing with. I sought out online communities because I wanted a place to share the things that I cared about, but I found a lot more. I found support in a way I've never had before. These communities led me to like-minded people, they distracted me when I needed to escape from my own thoughts, and they gave me a safe place when I didn't think I had anywhere else to go. Online communities saved my life, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Thank you so Thank much, you for, so watching, much for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, you, guys. Next we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!